What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cuba's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful little wife over here are bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things will hopefully ignite, excite, and intensify your relationship to positive and great proportions. That's right. Every week, we're sharing these awesome tips with you guys. So whether you're in a relationship right now or you're setting up for your future relationship to hopefully be successful, you want to listen to all these tips and tricks and the knowledge we're dropping. Because not only do we have this life experience of being together for 15 years 15. and going through the kids and the day and all this good stuff. And the dogs. We also have a ton of people around us that have went through a ton of different relationship types, good and bad. So we've taken all this knowledge and compiled it up so every week we can deliver you guys this awesome, valuable information. So make sure you guys are storing the memory banks or writing down some notes. So let's get into this week's episode. And this one is really, really important. So make sure you DVR it, record it, or do something with it so you can always go back and talk about it if you need to. Apply right? it. How about apply, apply it? it? Yeah. yeah, apply it when you need to. Apply Thank it. you. There you go. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. So these three things, the three C's, these are the big three C's of any healthy relationship. That means commitment, right? Yes. What else? Nope. The first one is actually communication. Ooh. Communication is most important. Now, I'm not saying commitment's not because that's second yeah. most important. And then third C most important is compassion. That's right. Right? Yeah. And if I had to add anything else on there, it'd be the fourth. And it's uh, the, the wicked stepsister would be trust. Yes. I said the fourth one. C was cookies, but That's John doesn't disagree. But when we talk about the three C's, right? <laughs> so we talk about commitment. Commitment is the main thing that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to commit to somebody or some relationship, right? And this commitment needs to be a solid commitment. You've always heard the expression, one foot in, one foot out. That's not how you want to go into a committed relationship. You want to make sure that you have both feet and you're diving in fully. And hopefully your partner, whoever it is, is reciprocating that involvement too as well. And that commitment with you, because that's the big thing that works between two people. As long as they're committed with each other, they can probably get through almost anything that comes to challenge them. Yeah, I mean, commitment means not just like committing in the beginning. It means you have an argument, you don't go run off and, you know, go start scrolling on one of those things that, you know, you could pick up a date or whatever it might be. You know, yeah. I, I don't know what they're called, but I know there's like 500 million apps out there now, right? But you, because you're committed, right? right? You're committed to your That's significant right. other. You love your significant other. You're going to work it out no matter what, right? Yeah. That's part of being committed. So you yeah. need to commit 100%. And if you're not committed, then maybe you should reevaluate mm -hmm. why you might not be committed or mm -hmm. why you do not or have not committed. Yeah. I know I'm probably putting some things in your head you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. I apologize in advance if this changes things for you. But we only want to give the best advice That's right. ever. That's right. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and it's, it's, you know, for that, for the commitment portion, like Shree said, there's, there's so many different things out there that are trying to pull people apart. And this is only if you let it, right? Mm -hmm. There's temptation out there. Filters. You know, you've got more DMs. filters. You know, everybody thinks the grass is greener on the other side. Filters. Um, but at that point, you shouldn't be thinking like that. And you should really be wanting the commitment with your partner and thinking about how that commitment is. Now, there's some people out there, they have a problem with committing, right? If you're one of these people, you need to start taking the steps. Because if you can't fully commit to your partner, you're never going to have a successful long relationship. A wife, marriage, that's going to last. Mm -hmm. Okay, You need to be full on board and uh, not always looking for the next best thing. Right? right? A lot of people get pulled away from this. There's a lot of flash and smoke and mirrors out there, what mm -hmm. people are, are trying to portray and what they're trying to do to your relationship. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't think so, there's a lot of people out oh, there yeah. that are probably jealous of your relationship or want to be in your spot in the relationship. So yeah. just be cautious about these things. And when you're getting advice from your friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever, you know, it is good to listen, I guess, and get a different perspective. Make sure you're getting the advice from a good source. But make sure you're getting credible advice. Right, you're not gonna go talk to your buddy down the street that just went through five, six, seven girlfriends yes. in, in three months, yeah. right? Yeah. That's bad. Now it might be the best person to talk to. That's right. Now you got another couple down the street, you're friends with them, they've been married for 20 years, yeah. 10 years. I mean, nowadays it's 2023, so yeah. I mean, if you've been married for one year, I guess that you're doing good in yeah. these books nowadays yeah so anyways we'll drop it down to one year of marriage okay yeah. one year of marriage cool get some advice from them i'm sure they have great advice on how they've been sticking it out yeah, i would say five to seven but that's just me 
The next one, right? So we've talked about commitment. Oh, communication. Communication. It's okay. He did the second one first. Sorry. I did say the second one first. <laughs> so communication. <laughs> communication is key, right? And this is talking about anything that you guys need to talk about or having these awesome conversations that you might have. Learning more about each other, right? Or communicating when you don't like something instead of holding it up and penting it up for frustrations that are obviously or might come along later on when you blow up because you just had a build up. And that's not good either, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and setting the boundaries in your relationship. This is done with communication, saying what you do like, what you don't like, and you guys coming to terms or a, a middle ground and compromising about what you guys are gonna go doing forward. Yeah. Uh, communication is seriously key, and that's not just in relationships. That's everywhere. That's, that's in at business, work. that's in your <laughs> personal that's relationships work. with your friends, or you know, and then obviously You have to communicate. With People your do not have crystal balls, right? Yeah. So if you had a crystal ball, you probably wouldn't be doing half the things you're doing right now. Yeah. You might not even be watching this show, yeah. but you don't have a crystal ball, do you? So with that being said, you gotta make sure that something's on your mind. Obviously, you wanna filter it out maybe before it comes out of your mouth but you're gonna have to eventually get it off your chest yeah. right and you don't want to wait until it gets to this level to just spurt it out in the middle of a fight because then that's never that never amounts to anything good Definitely not. so if something's bothering you this is the time to communicate it if you don't like something this is the time to communicate it yeah. if you want something done differently this is the time to communicate it don't let something just irritate you on the side and mm -hmm. then eventually you might just start looking for the other side of the fence because of them putting the toilet paper the other way animosity starts building <laughs> you like you know i mean communication is seriously key because even when you're communicating it doesn't have to be a negative thing it'd be a positive thing right something you do like or something that happens and, and you tell your partner like man i really like this and then it goes in their brain like, oh cool well, my partner liked this and well, maybe we can do this in the future or whatever it may be it's it's really it's the best thing you can do is communicate when people don't communicate um let's say you get upset with your partner and you just shut down they have no idea what you're feeling. You're not really expressing yourself. You're feeling worse about it. They might be feeling worse about it instead of you just openly talking about it. And that goes to my next point. When you are communicating, there's a way to communicate with your partner. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be angry. It doesn't have to be mean. You can communicate things that you don't like in, in, a, in an adult fashion, right? A mature fashion. We just tell them. You know, you're talking to them just like this. Do you, remember, do you remember how I would always use to communicate with you? Uh, yeah. Sharice would wake me up the next morning and start screaming at me. <laughs> I would not. No, 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 no. So I, it was even worse. This is a way worse, but it actually works, right? I would wait to the end of the night, right? <laughs> Obviously, after his right long Right before I'm going to bed. <laughs> I would wait until he was nice, calm, in bed, chill. He's real. He's got it all. He's got it all out. He's calm down right and then i just be like hey can i talk to you about something oh real quick I, that's exactly the what worst, oh that's the worst word you can hear. <laughs> i need to talk to you about something can i talk to you like, about something just real quick there's always a girl that's saying this to you you ever hear a guy like, can i talk to you about something oh you don't my hear this goodness, you really? like, hey bro let me talk to you real quick you know something like that you don't hear that so that's a girl's way of telling you like yeah you're probably not gonna like this but i need to express myself okay <laughs> So, Ed, <laughs> but you, I didn't do it in the middle of no. like, you know, the day no. I didn't do it over the phone, do it in person. No. Okay. <laughs> Don't do it on a text message. Okay. And listen, me and John have done things that, that didn't work. And I'm sharing with you yeah. that didn't work. Right. Don't do it on the phone. Yeah. Don't do it in a text. Yeah. Don't do it in an email. Don't do it through your DM. Yeah. Do it in person. Yeah. Do it face to face. Probably There's this much, it's, it's a little bit different when they can feel your vibe yeah. and maybe it might be approached a little bit differently. Yeah. And then wait till it's like a decent time to talk about it. Don't, don't do it while you got three kids running around the house and you're trying to cook dinner and then you're like, Hey, by the way, so, you know, I really didn't like this, 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 and that. Yeah. Eh, just wait for them to, before they go to sleep. Yeah. And then they won't be able to sleep. Don't it's, do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. Terrible. That's the worst. You sorry. don't get good rest. You I wake love, up the next day. And I love oh, you. Oh man, we're going back. It's what it is. No sleep for uh, <laughs> No sleep for me. That's okay though. Um, but yeah, so communication is key. Whatever you guys are doing, make sure you're communicating properly. If you don't know how to communicate with your partner, there's some exercises out there you guys can look up and really start communicating with each other. Mm -hmm. And it starts with deep conversations, just asking your partner different questions and having conversations and going from there. If you don't like something, talk about it. You guys can figure it out and come to resolution. Um, the next one, compassion. That's well, the last one, right? That's pretty self-explanatory. Compassion is a big one out there. That's, 
you know, sympathizing for your partner, basically, right? Um, and caring about what happens to your partner, and maybe how they're feeling and stuff like that. You have some people that are so self-driven, I guess, I've seen in relationships, where, you know, if their, their partner is doing something that might be serious or whatever, and they're so focused in on what they're doing, they really don't care. Yeah. I, I hate to say that, but it really is like, you know, I don't care. She's doing this or whatever. I don't, I don't care. I'm doing this. It is what it is. You know, that's not the way to be. You really want to, you know, care for your partner and make sure that they're comfortable and they're in a great space as well, too, mentally, physically, and all the way around. So, I mean, when you're out there and you're with your partner, make sure you're showing them compassion, empathy, that goes right along with it. Empathizing with your partner. If they're in a bad situation, whatever, making sure you're supporting them. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, making sure you're having compassion for them if temptation arises. So at that point, making sure that, you know, you're, you're putting yourself in their boots, per se, and you're saying, hey, listen, I wouldn't want this to happen to me. I don't want this to happen to my partner. Um, and I'm going to make sure it doesn't. I think compassion also has to do with, like, contact, right? A lot of you guys forget contact. And contact is very important. Contact is a hug. Contact is a kiss. Contact is contact. Holding hands, that's contact. Hugging, contact. Snuggling in bed, contact. Everybody gets so busy in life. It's just bop, 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 go to the next thing, go to the next thing. I mean, the people that will be able to like yell that to you are the two people standing in front of you right now. We are so busy throughout the day that I have to literally think about contact with him just to make sure I get it in. So like in the mornings, before like when he's running around doing this, I'm running around doing that. I'm like, wait, 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 give me a kiss. <laughs> and it's because I need a kiss before he leaves the house or whatever, you know, it's just to start my day. But it's little things like that that really, really count. And it really makes a difference. Yeah. You, you'd be surprised. Because then the minute you touch your partner any way, shape or form, it is you showing them that you care, you love them and that you care for them. That's right. And the only other part I'll add on to that is trust. And that's the big one. You guys got to set mm-hmm. the foundation right away yeah. right at the beginning of the relationship you need to set that foundation of trust make sure you don't break the foundation because trust you got to rebuild like the foundation all over in again tree so if you're rebuilt. a seen foundation ever break or crack or whatever it may be in a house or whatever it is you see then, then you then have to go buy a whole new house all over from the ground up go out, go gotta build a whole brand new house and a brand new neighborhood and everything so make sure that you <laughs> have that trust factor in there and if you guys don't, make sure you guys are building that right. together. And you guys can do that very simple and easy by just communicating about some simple things. So that's it, guys. That's our wonderful show for you guys this Sunday, ABC, every Sunday, 11 a.m. If you don't get to watch us live, DVR us. Or if you missed that too, don't worry. Just go over to YouTube. Type in Tight Medical Center. You'll get to see this episode and all of our other great episodes and all the other cool content the Type Medical Center has. And subscribe. Ding. And hit the subscribe button. <laughs> and if you guys are wanting therapies to increase bedroom enhancing relationships, we have that for you guys too. All you guys need to do is call Texas at 727-389-3220. Check out the website, tightmedicalcenter.com. And we'll see you next Sunday. We'll see you then.